Hello everyone, it's Rich Conrad for Remax Preferred Choice and our next tutorial will be over, over dot loop but precisely how to move a document from outside dot loop into dot loop. It's very simple to do and there's actually three different ways to, uh, to do so. So with that I'm going to uh, go into dot loop so I'm going to use the, uh, the Firefox browser and once again the website address is www.dotloop.com that's d-o-t-l-o-o-p.com right. you take your cursor you click on the sign in button in the top right hand corner type in your email address and then your password And it automatically takes you to what's referred to as the dashboard, which really is just the main page of dot loop. Now I already created a transaction, and uh, I'm going to use 33333 West Bethany, so I'm just going to click that transaction. And we already created two folders. We already have an escrow folder and a listing folder. And what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm just going to let me just minimize this a little bit, is we're going to start off with basically just moving a document from your from your uh, say from your desktop directly into a dot loop. Now the first thing you need to do to, to move a document over, you need to click the add document button. Now make sure you know which folder you're you're going to add the file to. So we have a listing folder and escrow folder. So if I want to put a doc, a file or a document to a listing folder, I want to make sure I check or I'm going to click this add document button right here. Now when you see these blue diagonal lines, now you know you can move a file into this folder. And all you have to do is just simply, I'm going to move, let's say, the Benzer, which is right here. So I'm just going to left click the Benzer, bring it over here to the listing folder, let go. And there it is. Now we have the Benzer, folder, the Benzer file within the listing folder, and that's all you have to do. The second way to move a file from outside dot, the loop into dot loop is once again you click the add document button. However, instead of just simply moving it over with a just move sliding it over, we're going to just simply click on computer and I'm going to choose the desktop. And this time I'm going to look for let's say the spuds. So just double click the spuds. Now we have the spuds file within the, the listing folder. All right. Now the third way is uh, to move a document to dot loop. It's, it's not really a common way. I'm not sure how many people use it, but it is very efficient. What you can do is just literally email one of these to uh, one of your folders the the files. Now each folder has its own email address. So right here. So if I click on the add document, let's go to the escrow folder. We haven't put anything in the escrow folder yet. If I click on add document and click email, if you see right here, this email address was copied to the clipboard. Alright, so now it's saved to our clipboard and all we have to do is just simply go to our email account and we'll click on this email and I'm going to click forward now I'm going to right click the cursor, click paste because the email address is already added to the clipboard. Right there, I'm going to click send. All right. I'm going to go back to dot loop. Now we don't see the files because we need to refresh dot loop and all we have to do to refresh dot loop is I'm going to click on right here back to my loop. And we we'll go back into the transaction and there we go. So we just emailed the Benzer and the Spuds directly into the escrow folder. Remember, there's a separate email address for each folder. And that's it. There's, the, as I said, three main ways to uh, put a, to send a document to dot loop. Very simple to do. If you have any questions, I could always be reaching the office at 623-414-4502. Or I can be reached via email at richconrad at rmpcaz.com